Okay, we're going to learn today how to smooth uh, some topographic features uh, that are undesirable in, uh, in our uh, ROMs grid. So the first thing I'm going to fire up MATLAB and I'm going to do an LS and I'm in this directory here I'm working with the Labdoor grid and I have a configuration file to load the grid which is conf.txt uh, and, uh, and I also have a MATLAB script that is called uh, fixtopo.m which I open and it's right here. Okay, so let's load the grid. The first thing I'm going to load the grid in the topography. Okay, so I'm going to paste this in here. And I'm going to now plot, uh, make a three-dimensional plot of the topography using uh, this particular uh, function here. So here's my topography. I'm just going to you know, move it a little bit here. And I'm going to zoom it a little bit in the region where I want to um, uh, where I'm having trouble. And in particular, there's this bump here in this uh, particular laboratory topography that is probably creating some noise, some numerical noise in the simulation. So I just kind of want to smooth this, but only this particular region without smoothing, uh, overly smoothing the rest of the topography. So how do I do that? So let's close this figure. Let's go back here. And I'm going to use a function that's called Roy Fill, which is from the image uh, processing toolbox. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to replot the topography here. And I'm going to use a different type of uh, of a color bar so that it's uh, the features are a little bit more evident. This is a color bar that you get from the RNT toolbox. It's a PMAP, get PMAP 51. And so again, this is the Labyrinth. And here you see this kind of topographic features that it's not uh, very interesting to me. And so what I can do now, I can fire up my, my Roy fill here by just uh, doing this uh, command line. And this is going to ask me to indicate graphically the locations of of the region that I want to smooth. So I'm going to execute this. You see it's waiting for something, so I go here in my figure. And now here I can start uh, kind of pointing and selecting a polygon of regions where I'm interested in smoothing the topography. So you see I'm just going around here and I'm just uh, taking this particular uh, feature here out of the picture. There we go. When I'm done, I double click and at this point, this function will return this H new, which is a new topography, uh, uh, which I am going to plot right now. Just progressing the script here. I'm just going to open another figure. And so you can see now here you have a new topography where uh, this particular feature here has uh, somehow disappeared and has been kind of smooth. And you can play around with this uh, as, as much as you want. And uh, and you can continue. After you're done and you've chosen the polygon and your, your smoothing is, uh, is of your liking, uh, at this point you can save um, you know, your, your parameters so that you can smooth future bathymetries in that location. So these are all the parameters that you need. So I'm just going to save the parameters and then I'm also going to save the bathymetry. So I'm going to save these two. And, uh, and so I'm done. I can now replot the three-dimensional uh, you know, bathymetry here. Uh, one second. Uh, I forgot to execute, I think, this command here. Uh, no, I can, sorry, no, that's right. I can replot the three-dimensional bathymetry. I can rotate it now and, um, oops, find again the, I'm not very good at rotating right now, um, but you can see, ah, whatever. <laughs> this is not going very well. Okay, if you see in this region there's no more uh, of this uh, intersection. And here now I'm going to show you a final plot that I made um, of this uh, bathymetry comparison. Uh, it's right here. And I'm going to say... Uh, anyway, this is not working out very well. Uh, fit in window. So here's the plot uh, that I've done. So this is again, uh, this was the initial lump that we wanted to smooth. Uh, this is how it looks in this uh, contour plot, which is makes it sh uh, makes this uh, even more visible. And this is what it looks after our Roy fill. Okay, so this is all for this uh, smoothing exercise.